Tunisia's political divide exposed. Across the country, people demonstrated against the death of Mohamed Brahmi, a vocal leader of the secular opposition. He was killed outside his home, reportedly shot in front of his wife and children. Crowds outside the interior ministry called on the government to step down. They blame Brahmi's death on the ruling coalition led by the Islamic party in Nahda. We are all against the Nahda. We are all exposed to bullets now. What if I am shot dead? But I am now ready to die for the sake of my country. Anahda gave the green light to kill Tunisians. Islamists asked for the killing of our people. We used to support them, but now they want to get rid of us. Mohamed Brahmi was a member of the Nationalist Popular Movement Party. He was involved in the complicated process of drafting Tunisia's new constitution. It's set to be voted on in the coming weeks. His supporters gathered at the hospital where his body was taken for an autopsy. They blamed the government for failing to crack down on religious extremists. The criminals know that we are in the last minutes of our transformation to a democracy. The constitution is almost finished. Elections are around the corner. Their goals are known, destabilizing the country, intimidating the people, and painting us as a failed state. I appreciate the amount of grief and sorrow, yet we should listen to the voice of reason. We will salvage our country and take our country forward. Brahmi is the second opposition leader to be killed this year. Chokri Balade, a fellow politician from the same secular coalition, was assassinated in February. His death resulted in the worst violence in Tunisia since former President Zine El Abidine Ben Ali was forced out of office in 2011. The current wave of demonstrations appears to be gaining momentum. Tunisia's biggest labor organization is calling for a general strike on Friday that's already forced the cancellation of all flights in and out of the country. The upheaval has many worried that more blood will be shed on Tunisia's road to democracy. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.